Generic greetings and welcome to Surviving the Abyss. Today's beverage is a very nice green tea. Hopefully the perfect beverage to keep us warm and safe on the ocean floor because that's where we are heading with Surviving the Abyss. This is billed as a survival city builder. The idea is that in the 70s cloning was attempted, it worked, then it failed, then it was banned. So instead of just going, nah, that's a bad idea, we were sent to the bottom of the ocean to continue the experiments. And there's also this otherworldly element going on as well. In fact, it feels more alien than a lot of games set on an alien planet. And it's something I've been enjoying for about five or six hours so I thought let's just jump in we'll do some videos see how we get on it does have with it being an early access uh, some jank some rough edges and questionable difficulty so <laughs> it may go south sooner rather than later but as long as the journey is interesting perhaps the destination doesn't really matter anyway with that said and done let's go to new game and we'll select well we've got new game plus introduction objectives and just new game we're gonna go with although I've played it uh, several times at the start bit anyway. Um, we're going to go with the introduction objectives. A, it may introduce yourself to the different mechanics, which we'll obviously try to cover. But secondly, and mainly, we get extra resources by doing this, so <laughs> why wouldn't we get extra stuff when it's already, um, like I said, it is, a, it is a difficult game. Anyway, I'm going to skip the cutscene because, well, we can't be going through that. So this is our main play area. We are on the ocean floor, as you can see there, and we have our main central hub. It says central hub 1, so I'm assuming you can build more later on. Top left, we have our objectives, our overall crew relations. In speaking of crew, we have 12 of them. Also, food production, which I think at the time recording is bugged. It doesn't seem to read outright. We also have um, types of uh, genomes as well. You basically you gather samples in order to clone. Resources are on the top like scrap steel and concrete quartz etc. The power and oxygen production is on the top right followed by research data. Lots of options for overlays on the bottom right and then time controls and uh, construction things as well and research. But we'll get onto that later on. Anyway let's have a quick look. So welcome. This is uh, Greetings Overseer. This message is from the command station 700, ooh, no, 7,861 metres above you. Wow, that's, that's at least a couple of feet. We hope you got settled in okay. In the coming days and weeks, you'll need to figure out how to supply power, oxygen and food and get a stable supply of fuel and building materials. Sorry, as if we've been promoted to, I assume is a decent position as the overseer, surely we don't want to figure out how to survive down here. That would have been in the basic training package, one would have imagined. Anyway, once basic infrastructure is established, our first big milestone will be to f uh, build a fully functioning clone lab. Good luck, Overseer. The work you're undertaking will benefit all humanity, or it will destroy it. So, let's just see what we have to do. I should also point out that, um, as I said, it does feel otherworldly, even more alien than some games set on an alien planet. That's because you're basically in this dark tank, and now and again you've got beasties turn up, and I'm hoping... Uh, the don't cheap out and say, yeah, it's aliens. I'm hoping it's going to be like experiments or something. Anyway, another message from the inbox here. Now, obviously, uh, we need to get a regular supply of building materials and resources, build a mining relay. So let's just do that. So we can move this thing around, and on the top right, it will show you where we can place it. So basically, we have to place it in... Well, most buildings have to be placed in the light, which is denoted by, well, A, what you can pretty much see, and also by these... Um, by these octagons, I think. Are the octagons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. Um, and, well, I'm just looking at this relay on the right and the, the readout, and that would give us the most resources that we know of. You can also place these a bit further out as well, which is a bit of a tip there. Anyway, we're going to place that in there, and we can zoom in, and we can see that basically this, uh, this boy's attached to the bottom. So people say buoy or boys. Anyway, it's a mining relay, and then we're going to set all that to basically all of the subs. So we've got these different types of subs. They're all docked on main hub here. So this is our mining submarine, which um, are fairly cool. I wish the front digger things would actually actuate instead of just being still, but, you know, early access. And we also have construction subs here, which um, remind me of, like, a crif type thing. Anyway, next up, power and oxygen. The central hub processes both, but we need to need, well, basically we need to get more. Uh, we can see that the central hub has no power or O2 requirement, but it does produce two of each resource anyway. So I'll build a coal generator, tunnels, uh, build tunnels to it, and then build an oxygen generator as well. So first things first, we're going to go with probably power. 
and the way this works is you have these different lines to show you where you can connect to so this thing can connect on the top on the left and then diagonally to the sort of southeast and we can press R to rotate that so you can either build this straight on or you can build it diagonally like that which I think is something that we will go for so there's the power in and we've got the prone guys coming over to sort us out we've also got the oxygen generator which this can only build on the um, on the top on the well north south east and west and we're going to place this in say there okay so let's also connect this up with some tunnels so we're just going to set that up there and set that up there and while we're on it we're going to run some power lines as well so the power lines are going to run from there to the center which is one and then over to here which is then two so that now indicates that we've got power as well so we can see that overlay and everything is connected speaking of overlays on the bottom right you can see resource lens so there is all of the resources that we can see at this stage we've got fuel and power whether it's powered up or not so the oxygen one which <laughs> you tend to look at quite a bit because yeah that uh, that goes into the minuses more than it probably should and we've got different biomes as well so we can check out the submarine command here which is a mini map and a submarine command station and we can zoom out and see basically what's what we know about so this is all dynamically generated so it'll be different every time you play and you've got kelp forests you've got coral reef and you click on each one it shows you what it's like so for example the coral reef a rare environment in the abysmal layer lit by uh, bioluminescent life forms three difficulty out of five shows you what you need to send subs we'll check that out later and we don't actually know about what its life or resources are there anyway we have now another message in the inbox so we need to think about constant food supply a carb um, a carbohydrate farm will be simple to build okay let's get a pasta mine so we're gonna have where will it be it'll be yeah that's living quarters oh we actually need to unlock it first so we're gonna go for a carb mine so let's get some pasta and job done um and see if we can make a Big potato toasty. Let's see if we can get this. Where we're we gonna place this? Um, this is to generate some carbs. So I'm just gonna place it back here. We'll just spin this round and place it in there. And once again, we need to connect that up with some connections with when it comes to piping. And uh, I think we'll just run cables like so. Okay. Um, one of the things I don't like is that that there does not necessarily uh, indicate where you are in terms of like the orientation of the camera when you start so that's the default orientation this way but it might be that that's north of the <laughs> of um of this thing so once i know um yeah we'll we'll probably rotate it so we have a bit more bit more of an idea I mean, we, we can we can head off with the camera and scoot away and find well nothing but you can see there's nice glowy bits there showing there's all manner of stuff out there We'll have to have a quick find. H2, jump back right to the centre here. And how we're getting on. We are we are getting crafting. Yes, we are indeed crafting. And there's some small coal as well. Seven crew are, un uh, crew are unemployed. That's actually a good thing. Uh, it means that we're not understaffed. Although that will happen. So, yeah. Anyway, we are on to... We need to build four crew... Oh, we need additional four crew members. They're going to send them. However, we need to have food situation under control and also stockpile some stuff and get housing. And, ah, now we're also wants us to build some uh, extraction... Oh, find the extraction points for resources. We need to build a sonar tower. So first things first, I'm going to build the crew quarters because I think that's important that we get that done. So over to our living quarters and again this is diagonal so I'm going to place this in say there and I'm going to place it right next to it because well it automatically connects up which is nice so we'll just get that connected and let's get the scanner going so over to uh, where would it be where would it be resources population exploration so we've got a light tower which you don't need a submarine factory not yet but we do want a sonar tower so the sonar tower I'm just going to place what I would class as hopefully out of the way which is about there it's because nothing's gonna connect up around there that is that's not my intention just yet um let's bring some power over to this though so it's gonna take two to there and that uh, powers up all of that there brilliant how are we getting on with resources we are gathering quartz glass we are gathering concrete iron and steel 
uh, double steel, but what I'm not seeing is fuel. So what I'm going to do is reduce that down. I'm then going to build another one of these things. It's free to play, so I'm not worried about that. And we do have coal over there and coal over there, but we're just going to place it, say, in that area there. And then, say, gather all resources, which happens to be coal. So let's do that. We have got food stability. We're on two of two living quarters. They are now in. And also the uh, the stockpile of food is going up as well. As I said, I think at the time recording that is bugged. Uh, <laughs> I've had it where it says food consumed per day in the 20s. And I'm only producing, say, 16. But the food is still going up. So I don't know what the deal is there. I like the little details as well with all these... Well, let's call it what it is. Leaks. Uh... <laughs> The bubbles coming from from here and as you build out you get more of them that's this oxygen generator would you would expect it to be well it would yeah probably I mean that it says oxygen that could be I mean what would you vent off if you I don't know how you're producing it I don't know how it's producing it if it was hmm I mean you could use desalinization yeah take out the salt could split it and recombine it. Who knows? But main thing is we have a Shona tower. So we need to find a fuel extraction point. So we can scan for fuel, resources, points of interest, and habitats, but only within obviously this scanning range. So fuel beacons, as we mouse around, it will indicate on the right the detection intensity, and we want it to really say medium, ideally, so we'll scan over there. And we'll scan... Oh, we found fuel. Found something over there, anyway. Uh, it's found more than one thing, actually, which is good. Let's scan in there. And it's free to do this. I mean, it costs power to run this thing, but it's not a big problem. So I'm just trying to find some more. So we've got, what's this? Small coal deposit. That is just a deposit similarly to, well, similar in thing to that. So it's just, yeah, we just gather it. But this one is different. This is where we can actively just get resources from it. I think most of them are unlimited. Oh, Sona Tower is located at a nearby resource extraction point. It don't appears to be coal. Yes, it's in the darkness though. We need to make it lit first. Yes, uh, Sona Tower is recharging. Before we go over there, I am going to scan around a little bit further just to see there's anything else of note we do have coal deposits there's another coal extraction point there I appreciate that it tells us the distance from camera but I would like to say distance from this thing um, so I mean yeah that's I mean we're roughly on top uh, 310 and then from here it is uh, yeah more okay so that's fine so we know we need to go over to the left but before we're gonna do that and this is where I think the game does fall down a bit. We don't necessarily know where we're going. We, well, we know we're going over here for this coal extraction point. But if we just shove a light down there, within three feet, there might have been a better place because it might have had better resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the scanner, continue scanning out to f try and find some points of interest and the resources that we can be near. Because if, for example, right here, there is a point that we can mine, then we want to place the light towards this side. I'm seeing iron deposits, concrete deposits. There's a concrete extraction point. Interesting. So we have got a concrete extraction point. That's actually a really good thing. Let's scan there. That's fine. That's now done. So I don't think we can get a light to get both of these. In fact, I know we can't. So we'll do what we can. Um, habitats as well, actually, while it's doing that. Three items found down here. Quartz glass extraction point and concrete. That's good. Let's go for habitats. So I'm scanning for habitats. And... There's one there, and there's one there, which is useful. So there's two, and there's literally only two. Okay, that's going to give us a good idea where we're going to place this expansion light. So, light tower. Because if I was going to place it there, we then have to place another one there. But if we place it around, say, here, which I tend to build it right near the periphery. I don't know if that's 
the way to do it or not? Oh, can we get both? Can we get all of them? That's risky. I don't know if I can get all of them. It doesn't seem to cover the whole thing. Should we try it? Ugh. I'm going to risk it. We're at least getting that and that. And possibly that one. That may come back to bite us. It may come back to bite us, that one. But, well, we've tried it. It's fine. As long as we get the coal extraction and this habitat, and possibly the other one, we can always expand further to the other concrete one. So, light tower's going up. Let's go to max speed. Day 7. 5 in the morning. Crew relations are 55%. <laughs> it's in the positive, at least. Uh, let's power this thing up. So... This is going to run a power uh, to there. And I love this. It rises up and then sort of flicks on. I love the the, the sound effects of the lights as well. <laughs> okay, let's go for. Um, tunnels, genetics, research. Ah, unlock the coal extractor. Of course. So... Coal extractor. Resources. Coal extractor. Unlock item. And buildings. Coal extractor. Yes, we can place it there. And we can get both of these, but it looks like we cannot get, sadly. Oh, it says concrete extraction point. Part of it is lit. We might just look out. We'll see. So, that's going to go in. Now, this is where we have a little bit of a problem, because... This is a type of building that kicks out pollutants. So yes, we're extracting coal, that's great, but slight issue, it's gonna start polluting oxygen. So even if we have oxygen, we will get low quality. We get low air quality, which means we have to process it. And we can do that a number of ways. You can either just spam <laughs> oxygen generators, do it that way, or I think the sensible approach would be to get basic air purifier. Improve the air quality on an oxygen network. It does cost five aluminium, I think that is, but we start with ten. When the game first launched, you didn't start with any, and I think <laughs> it was realised that actually that's a bit of a bit of a downside. I've got a fish here. A John Dory. John Dory is an edible coastal marine fish. Olive yellow, uh, olive yellow body, long spines on the dorsal fin, and a dark spot which we can't really see because it's... Oh, there it is. There's the eye on the side. Also, how big is that thing? Is that massive? <laughs> it's huge, actually, when you compare it to, like, the subs and such. Anyway, um, we have... I'm going to scan for points of interest because... Actually, no, we'll not bother. It's fine, it's fine. So... We do need to connect this with power. We also need to connect it with a tunnel. But I'm going to do something just a bit different here. I'm going to go with life support and oxygen generator. And, oh, hang on. Is this stepped? It is stepped. So it's a bit different. So in order to get up to there, we need to use an elevator. So we'll have to sort that out. Um, right. What I'll do is I'm going to place this in here. And then I'll connect that up to that one. So that's now connected up, all right? It is also powered up. Furthermore, we need to use elevator shaft, and I think that would be... Oh, it's invalid there. Cannot build in darkness. All right, off. okay. So there, maybe? I think that would work. We connect that up, and then... Ah, we'll have to build this way. Okay, that's fine. That is possible. Um, what we'll need, though, is a hub. So we'll have a junction. And we'll build the junction in... In about over there, I think. So we'll then connect that to that. And we'll go diagonal to that. And there we go. And then we'll run power naturally. Uh, actually, most of the power is being ran anyway, so... 
that it's connected up. It does require some ore too. Because of where it's placed, it's actually it's it's quite an interesting looking building, but we just can't see it at this stage because of it's just on the periphery of the light. Uh, do we have a that's recreation lens? Do we have a light lens? Resource, fuel, power, oxygen, biome, habitat, crew. Crew lens, it just shows you where the crew are, and you can see they are wandering in and around here. So, the elevator's in, the oxygen generator's in, but we're not able to power it. We need more power. We need more power. But, if this mission is to be a success, we need to do some research, build a research lab. Alright, we can do that as well. And also, acquire genetic material. Alright, we'll do that as well. And... Obviously, we have the utmost faith in you to lead this mission, but a project like this requires many great minds. We are planning to send down a specialist engineer to assist with the setup of the facility. Before you uh, before you give the go-ahead, you need to progress to a stockpile of 80 coal. Okay, so we are making coal, and we are gathering coal as well. Furthermore, we've pinpointed the location of a nearby habitat. Must make preparations for the cloning process, build a fauna trap. So lots of <laughs> lots of commands here, but we can do that. So we'll go over to genetics and we've got a fauna trap and the first fauna trap I'll place. It doesn't actually matter because the fauna traps, they're not crude. So I'm going to place it on the far left because the fauna traps, you can also build other things there. For example, um, I think it's a protein farm. You can yeah, you can build a you can build fish a fish mine, and mine fish. So we could do that there if we do so desire. And it's closer to the hub that we've built as well. Um, gonna turn off the sonar because it is using power that we don't have. So it means now that this thing can turn on. There you go. Does have some crew as well. We've got twelve crew and they're all generalists. Ah, and food stability has just been completed, which is increased crew relations, which is good. And we've got six new crew members. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, I think we would be uh, remiss if we didn't build another generator. So let's go and build one of those. And because of the position of it, I can place it like that. <laughs> hey, yes. I like a nice connected generator. And we're just going to build like that, so that's going to connect up as well. So we are generating 10 day, or 10, it says at the moment, 10 coal. Only consuming 3, that's obviously going to go up once we do this one. Let's build a research centre. So we got a marine stabiliser, cloning lab, research, a basic research centre. So where's this going to go? Um, I think here, isn't it? I could build it right next door. I like to try and give it... I like to try and put gaps in them, though. So at least we can alter things. At the moment, though, we've got this, which is the building material stockpile. Which is something you get. I think this thing can store 100. Mm, actually, I'm not sure. 50 of each resource type, and this can store... Probably 50. Yes. Yeah, it can store 50 each. And we can't really see the coal mine. But it's obviously digging away there. Infinite resources, that coal mine. So that's handy. What are we short on? We've got steel on the go. We've got concrete getting gathered. Uh, actually, no, gathering rate is zero. Steel we're gathering. We're not gathering any quartz. We've got iron, but that has to be converted into steel using an alloy furnace. And we're not gathering any aluminium, but we are gathering coal. So we're using, at the moment, it says we're using six and we're gathering ten. And we've got decent oxygen. Because we've got this oxygen generator. We've got two oxygen generators. We needed to place them anywhere in there. Um, we can... Oh, concrete. I was going to say, what sort, what sort of creature is that? It's got, like, tentacles on the front. It's it's just grass covering the bit of concrete. Um, yeah, so I digress. Oxygen generator back there. That's generating oxygen. And we've also got this one here. Now, it does... There is some benefit in separating things. So you can have all of your pollutants in one area and then you split it up with a dock. But that's a bit more advanced and something we can't do at the moment. But also, if you place these here, the oxygen generator there, and connect it through that, I don't know... 
if the pollutants go through past this, like through this way, because that's the central hub where it processes it. it, it There's a couple of couple of little min-max things that we have to uh, look at. But anyway, um, let's connect up the research centre. And how many people are working there? A couple. So we've gained research points, 170. This is good. We need to capture three specimens and build a cloning lab. Well, there is our fauna trap. It is capturing the John Dory with uh, Zeus Fiber. I assume later on you can change bait types, but I've not actually got that far. So the gathering stuff there, I think we're going to do something similar for this one as well. So we might as well at this stage build a, where is it, genetics, one of those. These will eventually run out. However, we do have a marine stabilizer, which we can use as well. So that is pretty handy. Um, good. So one member is unemployed. They will be employed sooner rather than later. We need to get three specimens, build a cloning lab. So we'll build said lab. So over to cloning lab. I, for some reason, always connect it next to this the science bit. And I don't know whether we need to. Well, I know we don't need to. We definitely do not need to. I think we'll place it um, maybe off to one side. Or do you want to place it here? Because we could just clamp it on the side. No, I, don't, I think we'll place it separate. Um... Just gives us a bit more options for expansion and things later on. So this will go into there, and power will. <laughs> it's a bit of a sp bit of a spider's web of power connections here, but it not that is not. Six consumption, gathering eleven. I think that's how many we're gathering from this one. Um, it's an extraction point. Gather coal, yes. Minus eight percent air quality. Doesn't tell us how much this is gathering. I think it's gathering one every 15 seconds. I'll tell you what, we could... Well, when this runs out, we'll know, because this thing will drop <laughs> if it's uh, calculated there. Still got one unemployed crew. Food's going up. It is... Low-quality food is 10, and consumed is 18. All right. Okay. We'll see how that... See how we get on with that one. Research-wise, we are going to... Have a quick look at this. We've got... Coal efficiency. Coal power generators will use 20% less coal. Let's just get that now. Get the, the efficiency stuff early on, surely, is the best option. Um, increase the output of oxygen generators. Don't need to do that. But once we get to a point, we'll unlock it. We've got mess hall and garden dormers. Mess hall is very good. Provides recreation to eight crew assigned to the workplace building within its area. And they can consume low-quality food without detrimental health effects. So you do get, yes, detrimental health effects from just eating stuff from the pasta mine. We've got the outposts and docks, which we don't need to look at just yet. Ally furnaces, reinforced drill bits, none of that is really much benefit. Biomass generator, it generates stuff from the, yeah, the habitats. I think, of all things, I would like... Oh, well, actually, research, surely. Let's go for day rate attachment. Use computational data analysis techniques to aid research data production. We're going to get that unlocked. And there's calculate directly available research materials to multiply the research data production points. Oh, you can only place it is placed on top. I wonder if I wonder if you can only place one type on top. Possibly. Either way, we're going to get the day rate attachment. Again, maximizing what we have rather than just casting the net wide. Coal's definitely going up. Food is fine. Like I say, it says 18 consumed and four days remaining. I don't believe it. And have they stopped production on that? No, they haven't. They're cracking on with it. Three, ooh, three uh, power and 10 oxygen. Let's see what happen if we toggle this. So it says oxygen is low. And I'm going to see if it's low quality. It may get to that. Oh, milestone cloning lab completion. I'm going to turn that back on, by the way, because we are getting a bit low. And, ah, yeah, we need fuel stability. Once we get that 80 coal, we get a, a different type of crew. It's an engineer. You get engineers, you get... Is it scientists? Yes, and I, you might get another person as well. I'm not sure. 
So, coal's over there, coal deposit, scrap steel, quartz glass, concrete. These are now in. I'm trying to capture some fauna. Concrete extraction point is there. Oh, hang on, right. So, the light is to the right. Let me check. Right, so that should be orientated about right to the to the mini map. So f coal should be on the left. Yes, it is. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm sure we'll lose this orientation sooner rather than later. We need to cast uh, capture three specimens. I'm also not sure what that symbol means. Is that uh, in the dark? Does that mean in the dark? It doesn't matter because it works anyway. We don't crew it. Requires common bait. Oh, did I change the bait? <laughs> I think I might have changed the bait by accident. <laughs> oh, right, okay, fine. We're working now. So, three specimens. Uh, we can go to cloning here, and this is a big part of the game as well. And essentially you put in the specimens. They have a certain mutation level and you want to try and get clones but it's about getting different specimens and making the best you can and yeah gonna max speed this out while we get the coal required still gathering things that we need it's fine we're not maxing out on any of the resources there coal still going up food's middling around the 70s we may need to get some more we do have a carbohydrate farm there um we will build because we can Carb farm. Do we want to spend some research points? I think we do. A mess hall. And we're probably going to go for a garden dome as well. So let's assume that this is the middle because I'm going to build the habitats around. And the reason that matters is because you can do that. Um, so I actually probably want to place another living quarters because we're going to get more population sooner rather than later anyway and then the mess hall on the back and that connects them all up and this should be powered up anyway there we are all right a bit more building obviously that's going to use steel and some more concrete but we can get iron from there quartz from there scrap steel over there don't know if we can get that far though no we can't but we can get that iron we can get that quartz, double quartz. We can get quartz there. We can get coal there. Steel. It's just concrete, actually. Con concrete genuinely could be an issue. Oh, all right. Okay, we'll have to think about that one. Uh, we're going to have to extract the concrete. That's what we're going to have to do. That is what the game has thrown us. How are the specimens doing? Two buildings with unsafe air quality. I reckon it'll be around here. We'll have a look. It is... No, not. I don't know why. What happened there? I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. We've got zero power, but we do have four oxygen. Research... Basic air purifier is 90. How much are we producing per day? 17. 12 from the basic research plus 8. Sorry, sir. Is it up here? No, plus 5. Day rate per attachment module plus 8. Then it says plus 5 on that. Yes. Anyway, objective completed. That is to gather three specimens. And now. All prior experiments and cloning led to the test subjects who suffered from poor health, malnutrition, and could only undertake the simplest of tasks. Your work down here can fix this. We can fix this. Time's come. Open the cloning lab and begin the cloning process. So we're not going to do it because, basically, we put in the specimen. It gives you the viability, so 18% chance of a generalist, followed by the mutation chance. The more mutations, the less the health. You can get one, two, three, four specimens in the sequencer more if we do some research 
Uh, where would it be? Research and genetics. So we can unlock a slot, we can unlock the cloning time speed. There's lots of options for us, but we're going to leave it there for now. That is a bit of surviving the abyss. Decent start, I find. Oh, hang on. Uh, one of the coal extractor teams found a coal vein unlike anything they've seen before. It is much harder than the rest of the coal surrounding it. Extracting from this vein could result in a considerably higher yield than usual, but it would require one of the crew to descend through the borehole to assess it properly first. Ah, vents. So, is this something you would think we should risk the crew? Here's the problem. I've done both, and I don't know if it's random or not. The last time I said allow a crew, they died. Actually, I don't think they died, I think they were just injured. Uh, try to extract the vein without further assessment. I'm going to not risk it. Let's just do that. Shortly begin the extraction, the equipment collapsed and the ground gave way beneath it. Oh, so the drill broke. <laughs> right, we've got the coal. But we do need to repair the drill with five concrete, which uh, we've only got 28 and now less. So I've, tell, I've told them to repair it. Do we have a concrete extraction thing in the technology tree? I mean, I know we do. There's a drill extractor. Collect building materials. Okay. We're probably going to have to go for that sooner rather than later. But we're going to leave it there for now. That's been a bit of Surviving the Abyss. Hopefully a good start and hopefully something you are enjoying. If you have any tips, suggestions for the game, any uh, advice, by all means let me know, general feedback, etc, etc. And next time we'll start cloning, do some more expansion and see, as always, how we get on. Hope you have enjoyed the video. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.